Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 2 of Time to Cook, where we'll be checking out that 737 today. But first off, I want to address the thing I did yesterday, of course, being that I released a blood bag for Season 1 of Breaking Bad, which was just the seven Time to Cook episode reviews compiled into one, and I'm going to be doing that with all five seasons, or at least try to, and I'm going to do one mega video where I'm, it's all 62 Time to Cook episode reviews into one video if you want to watch that. Probably I'm estimating that'd be five hours long, but who knows. Anyway, so, 737. It's a pretty good episode, pretty good start to season two. It's bonkers as all hell, and it's odd. So, the episode starts out with a recap of season one, episode seven. The end of it, where Tuco loses his fucking mind and literally beats one of his own men to death over really nothing. And Walter and Jesse, now realizing how crazy this asshole is, decides to try to end, find a ways to end their partnership with him. And by end, I mean kill Tuco. But Tuco, I'm just gonna say, by the end of the episode, Tuco somewhat finds out what they're trying to do and cuts a loose tie with the other guy who is out there another one of his men by kill make killing him and making it look like an accident and then by the end of the episode Tuco ends up kidnapping Walt and Jesse and that leads in directly to the next episode which that's probably gonna also be a crazy ride but while in the background, we there's being a plot line where Hank tries to help Skylar connect with her sister again. <laughs> because, like I said last time, Skylar's sister stole a necklace to the to give to them during Skylar's baby shower. And Skylar doesn't really want to talk to her sister anymore, so Hank is trying to fix that. And yeah. So, going into some points in this episode that I think are really f good is one, like I said, Tuco is phenomenally and hilariously crazy in this. To the one where he's a, where he literally just beats a man to death for no reason, and then kidnaps our two main characters. Be because I, like, they don't need, like, I don't even know if he really found out that they were gonna try to kill him, or he might have just done it because he was fucking nuts. But also, in the episode, Hank gets the footage of Walt and Jesse stealing the uh, ingredient to make their sky blue, and Hank's just insulting them, and it's fucking funny. Also, Hank is definitely does do some stuff that would be against most police books, but I guess they do it different in the DEA because he's taking picture, funny pictures with uh, crime scenes. So I guess they do it different over in the DEA, or maybe they just do it different in New Mexico. Who knows? But yeah, this episode isn't doesn't really have much. It only really furthers is the relationship. The, I guess, exchanging relationship between Walt, Jesse, and Tuco. And showing that that is probably going to end with some bullets and hell itself. And honestly, I don't really have much of an issue with this episode. It's got... It does pick up the pace a bit that season one was... Like I said, season one was, had very slow episodes. I mean, again, still very good episodes, but they were still slow. Season two, it picks up the pace like a fucking. What's the what, am I, what analogy do I need? Like a like a Sonic, I I don't know. <laughs> and it's definitely a lot quicker. There's also a lot of other fun p parts where Walter he becomes paranoid that Tuco's trying to gonna kill him, 
because he because he sees Tuco in front of his house and to the point where he's staying standing at the window all night holding a chef's knife ready to Michael Myers someone if they ever come in and then he starts carrying around a gun in the house later it's he's paranoid as hell I mean sadly Tuco ends up kidnapping him by the end like I said and uh yeah if overall um I'm gonna give 737 I think a 9 out of 10 this is a really fun episode so but what will happen to Walt and Jesse will they escape Tuco find out next time on time to cook I'll see you then